This little movie helps you learn some ways to help your personal recovery. When you are ill, whether in your body or your brain, you hope to recover and feel better so you can lead a fulfilling life. Personal recovery is about your attitudes, values, feelings, goals, knowledge, skills, and commitment to developing a satisfying and hopeful life while adjusting to your illness. It's a holistic approach to find treatment and lifestyle options that best suit you. Your goals might be to feel better, study, get a job, find a place to live, eat well, have nice friends, get along with your family, and be healthy. Remember, you are not alone. You can gather a team around you of healthcare professionals and other people you trust, like your friends and family, to support you to achieve your goals. Healthcare professionals are experts in their fields and have lots of experience and knowledge to share with you. Don't forget that you are also an expert on your life. Only you understand how you feel, what you value and hope for. Some of these people will be in your life for a long time and will get to know you very well. Meeting others who have lived through similar experiences can also help. You might meet people in person or through an online support group. Working together, you can share decisions and make an agreed plan of action. This is called shared decision making, and for it to work, there needs to be an honest two-way communication between you and your healthcare team. All right, sound good? Here are a few easy ways to get started. Ask questions to further your understanding about schizophrenia and your treatment. Write down your questions so you don't forget. If you are unsure of what to ask, you can try these three useful questions to start off with. What are my options? What are the pros and cons? And how likely are these? Know your treatments, now and past. Write them down or save them in a computer file. Your records help with decisions about treatment options that are available to you. Invite people in your team along to your appointments. You'll have your support team now, so let's look at other things that will help you. There are around 285,000 people in Australia who are living with schizophrenia. Most take antipsychotics to help control the symptoms so they can get on with life. Antipsychotics are medicines used to relieve symptoms such as delusions or hallucinations without stopping you feeling a normal range of emotions. They only work while you take them, so it's important to find the right ones that suit you. Other medicines often prescribed at the same time as antipsychotics include medicines that can help you sleep, treat rapidly changing moods, or lessen the effects of depression. Medicines come in different forms. Some are taken as pills and others by injection. You may prefer pills that you take at home every day, or you may find it better to have an injection while you're at the clinic every month, or less often. You need to decide what works for you. The way each person responds to a medicine is different. So even if one medicine doesn't work for you, it doesn't mean others won't. Psychological therapies. Social cognition therapy aims to help you become more aware of how others feel during social interactions and how to better interact with people around you. Family support therapy may help your family understand what you're going through and how to help you. Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, or CBT, may help you be more aware of your thoughts and actions, and understand how these affect how you feel. CBT can teach realistic thinking and improve problem solving. Cognitive Remediation Therapy, or CRT, aims to improve attention, memory, and thinking. It might help improve your ability to work and manage daily activities. Vocational Rehabilitation aims to help you find and stay in a job. As well as good effects, treatments can have side effects that you don't like. Some effects might worry you for a long time, while others go away. Some you decide you can live with and others you will want to change. Again, ask questions. Something you have trouble putting up with might be easily improved if you discuss it with your healthcare team. Once your agreed action plan is in place, you need time to see if it's going to work. So try to be patient. Make sure you discuss any changes with your team before you make them 
so you can share decisions. As you start to feel a little better, you can think more about other things to help your personal recovery, such as eating well and doing activities. Whether it's riding a bike, walking, swimming, playing music, sport, or computer games, making art, or hanging out with friends, try to make good choices that will make you healthy and happy. Remember, your team is there to help you, and sharing decisions with them will help your personal recovery. If you want to know more about personal recovery and living with schizophrenia, ask your healthcare professional 